is the 25th of May, which I mean, I feel like I say this most times when I get to the end of a month, but what is happening? Because June is like halfway through the year. June is when Bill turns seven as well, which is crazy. Um, but we are, well, I am just getting ready. It's around 11 o'clock now. Um, I'm leaving it so late because obviously Stan's like being nappy and then he's still in our room and stuff. Bill is with his dad. He's well excited this morning because his dad and his partner have moved house recently. So we were just chatting about that at the door. And um, so he's going to go and see like his new bedroom there and go to like a park that's nearby. So that would be really good. He's taking his scooter and stuff and he's coming back on Monday, which is really nice because obviously because it's bank holiday, then we get to spend like the Monday together as like a family, like completed in that sense. Um, but yeah, it was, it was cute seeing him go off and he's probably excited about that. Um, the only downside of today with him not being here is that there's like an event and a few people that follow me on Instagram actually made me aware of it and it's um a little boy called Stanley celebrating his seventh birthday this weekend on what well, today Saturday and he's at the um Manchester Museum where there's like dinosaurs and stuff and he is holding like a birthday guest together which is all dinosaur themed and this little boy is called Stanley and he is also someone that lives with muscular dystrophy and they are trying to get together with the muscular dystrophy like organization to get as many Stanleys as they can all together in one place and we just thought we would go along and like show our support really because we have a Stanley and it's not like it's too far away and I think the kids all love it but the only downside is is that Bill's our main dinosaur mad kid but we haven't got him here today but it's just one of those things like we can't not do stuff because we've not got him with us because it's not fair on the other two and I think they'll really enjoy it so we're gonna like head out for lunch go to Manchester I've not been Manchester for ages um I'm quite excited to go actually because like I used to go there every day with work and I miss like I miss being a part of it sometimes so we're just trying to organize like how we're going to get there whether or not we're getting the train or driving but I think we're going to drive but Mark's trying to find out if the museum's got a car park or not um but yeah that is the plan so I really need to hurry up actually. Can't work out what to wear either. I was wearing a dress but the weather, like the sun keeps going in and then coming back out again and I think I'm just going to stick with jeans and this top and like a cardi or something, keep it simple but I'm going to get ready now so yeah, see you in a bit. It's romanticised, idealised, nothing has been more So we're here now and we're just trying to find the museum. We're like at the university bit and it's so, so quiet obviously because it's like Saturday, there's no one in. Um, but we've got a good parking spot and I'm well excited. We're gonna go out for something to eat later as well. I don't know where yet because I'm more familiar with like the Northern Quarter rather than this area, but I'm sure we will find somewhere nice. But for now, we need to go and find us some dinosaurs. Feel it if you believe in me. 
just waiting for Mark to pay for the car park and then we're gonna go home, aren't we? And we are very full up on five guys. It's like the second time I've had it. Well nice, but I don't know if we'll be eating tea later, put it that way, and can barely breathe. Press the button. So we're home now and both kids fell asleep in the car actually which was a bit of a bonus really but Mark did a successful car to car to transfer with Sam but Daisy's pretty easy to wake up so she's just snuggling with him on the sofa while I nip to the shops because our grocery order doesn't come until tomorrow. Gosh you hear those beers they're super super loud today. <laughs> There we go and um yeah we've not got much in and it's just unfortunate because it's the only slot that we could get um so we're just going to get a few bits in for later and in the morning just because none of us are remotely hungry now but i think we'll be packaging a bit and we really haven't got much at all and i think i'm going to get some wine or prosecco because i just really fancy it and like watching a movie or something tonight but um yeah it's been a really good day i'm really really glad we went <laughs> While I'm slowly heading back to my apartment I'm not asking for your thoughts I'm just thinking out loud So the kids are both awake now, they didn't sleep for very long, it was like a cat nap if anything um, but they've woken up in about a minute so that's good and they're just having their dinner so they've got some fresh tortellini pasta in, with like butter and cheese as the sauce because it's just really quick and easy and some cucumber and some orange wedges and I am about to make myself one of these they were on offer in um, Waitrose Waitrose have loads of like fancy gins but they're proper expensive but this one was £20 instead of £25 I think so went out on a whim because it's a Seville orange gin and it just sounded amazing so it should last me a while as well so I'm going to try one of those now and I'm going to read my magazines in the sofa on the sofa in here um, and watch them while they eat their dindons and um, just relax I don't think we've really got any plans for tonight we're going to make nachos later just as like a snack because Mark and I just aren't hungry after that burger and I'm aware that nachos isn't even like a healthy meal either so we're not winning points this weekend for healthy food are we but um, we are going to make homemade guacamole to go with them so there's that um, but I want to find a movie so I'm going to like badger him and nag him to find something good to watch I want to watch like either like an old school rom-com or comedy from like years ago or something that I've not seen before but I've not decided yet we will have to agree on something we've got pretty similar tastes in like films and movies and stuff but it just depends what move we're in this smells really nice by the way I'm just like, I look like a right way you do we're just like inhaling gin um, but yeah, I'm gonna get that made now. Doesn't look bad that, does it? Let me try. This way. <laughs> Who pulled that tree back? Danny Pig has walked into a tree. Are you okay, Daddy Pig? That's really yes, nice. I'm fine. A bit more tonic in night like, because that is uh, yes, of it's definitely a Charlotte measure. Hello, Peppa. Oh, wow. Wow. Why are you not in bed? You don't actually want to go in bed. No. <laughs> are you a monkey? I don't want to go in bed. You are very lucky that I am in a very happy mood tonight because you wouldn't get away with this normally, would you? Okay. So we put the kids to bed. You told him? Yeah. And then a certain little girl decided that she didn't want to go to sleep, so 
we are now doing something completely different to what was planned. Mark's watching Hi. some sort of <laughs> Mark's watching some sort of documentary and we are watching We're watching the monster in law. Um so that's the end of Saturday. Night night. And then we go bye. Some bread um who are awake at this moment in time um daisy obviously <laughs> snuck downstairs last night so she is still asleep and it's not something that we would normally like let her do at all because uh, bill normally stays up till eight now and the younger two go to bed at seven but she never gets to do it and she was in such a good mood and because she'd napped earlier i think she just genuinely wasn't tired so that was fun it wasn't exactly the evening that we were hoping for but it was still pretty cute anyway so she's still asleep we've been awake since quarter to six haven't we mm. i'm gonna make me and him some eggy bread in a minute because he's not had it in a while and i think he'll like it and we've just been stroking elsa haven't we it's miserable outside, it's raining, and um, I really don't feel that great. I don't know if I've got like a second bout of hay fever. I normally get it with tree pollen at the start of the season, um, but today I've woken up and last night as well, I had a really sore throat, it was really congested, and my eyes were itchy, and that's obviously normally points to hay fever, doesn't it? And my wisdom teeth are still killing me, so to be honest, I feel pretty rubbish. Um, I would use a swear word, but you could be watching my children, and I have a child with me, but you catch my drift. I really don't feel very well. Um, so I'm just going to take some ibuprofen as soon as I've eaten. That's why I'm going to cook. I wouldn't normally eat this early, but I want to take some pain relief. Ibuprofen can hit my tummy sometimes. But um, yeah, that's the general gist of things. We haven't got any plans today, and judging by the weather, we're probably just going to have a cosy day inside. And relax and maybe watch a movie, play some games, lots of cuddles, that kind of thing. Um, got a grocery shop coming later, which I'm excited about because I like stocking the house up. And uh, yeah, I'm oh, sorry, did I offend you by showing you some love? I'm gonna say bye. <laughs> Girl, the fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back so hi again, it's um, just somehow 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday now and um, I am feeling rubbish, <laughs> I'm not really very well at all, I, um, I've just woken up after falling asleep, sat upright on the sofa which is never a good sign is it, um, I was like leaning on the arm part and I found myself with a neck ache and a sore throat. I don't know how long it was that I was asleep. I woke up feeling horrific. And um, 
I was on an iron about going to bed and going for a nap. Matt was like, you should go and lay down, like, you don't feel very well. But Stan's having a nap at the moment, and you know when you've got, like, a real tickle in your throat, and I keep coughing, and I feel like if I go and try and nap, I'm just going to keep coughing, and then he... I'll end up waking up and I feel unfair on him. Um, obviously, like, he's still in our bedroom and stuff and, um, I don't know, I can't do it to the kids, so I've come and sat down in the kitchen with some juice just to try and, like, moisten the old mouth up. Um, but for rubbish, I don't know what it is. I was thinking that it could be hay fever because I've come over really congested and, like, sore throat and eyes and stuff. I think I said that earlier. I'll probably have. I'm, like, a one-trick pony sometimes. Forget what I've said. I'm getting old. Um, and I'm kind of hoping it is that and it'll go away soon rather than, like, coming down with something because, obviously, Daisy's had croup. And her and Stan, oh, I'm a mess. Her and Stan have been really snotty recently, so it could be... It could be that, it could be that, I caught something off there, I don't know. My tooth is still slipping, killing me. Um, but I did want to like chat about things because I think last time I was talking about like the house and stuff and the extension and everything going through. Um, but we've like moved on even further now, so I'll make. <laughs> and um, we are obviously still going ahead, but after like everything that we've been doing like we started getting planning permission back in september last year and it's just taken so long to get to this point and now we're ready our builder's not ready because our builder's really popular and is booked up until february so february is the slot that we've taken and we're just going to ride it out until then but as i've just mentioned with the stand being in our room he's already 14 months old and it's starting to get a lot harder i think we always thought oh it won't be forever so you know what's like a few more months but in reality by the time he has his own bedroom he's going to be two um so we are thinking about maybe what we're going to do in the short term possibly moving him in with one of the other two or moving things around which seems really bad because it's like we're disturbing them over us but it's not it's not that it's like also space as well because there's already three of us in our room at the moment and obviously the bigger he gets it's just getting more difficult um like for example at night we can't go in there um at all really so you can't like go in unless you're going to sleep so i don't like move my books in bed anymore and like we don't have like a place to go and just relax or if like i'm feeling poorly or mark's feeling poorly it just completely depends as to whether or not he's awake whether or not we can go and lie down or whatever and um i think that we might have to sort of combine two of them temporarily just because their sort of nap and sleep times were a lot more similar whereas ours aren't with him um it's really not a big deal though like bill's been begging us for a bunk bed for ages so we might just get a bunk bed anyway and then if it's daisy that shares with him or whatever then we can just use that as like a bunk bed for sleepovers when he's got friends and stuff but we're not going to rush into it now and um, we're just going to sort of maybe think about it over the summer um but yeah so we are getting the house done it's just going to take a while that's all but the good thing is is that in the interim while we're remortgaging which is like the best way that we can afford it really we can also save money um so that means that you know we can do it exactly the way that we hope to um you know like just like extra fixtures like in the kitchen for example like i'm really thinking about brass and that kind of thing and um you know i can save up and buy things that i want to get like and do it like as best as we can because we we don't envisage us doing anything to the house after this apart from like general like wear and tear and like giving everything a lick of paint when it needs it as we grow older and we want to do a really good job this time because we cut a lot of corners with the first time we had it done like this kitchen for example was not finished to like a great spec at all just because of budget and um like everything that we've got is second hand which is great because it's done us really really well but it would be nice to have something that we've chosen like i've never until recently designed a kitchen before and like chosen things that i would like as opposed to well we can get it cheaper so we do it that way and i'm just excited um and it gives us something to look forward to for next year doesn't it 
um, and takes the pressure off this year I guess because we were like really trying to like be wary about just everything and what we were doing and where we might be and whether or not we could afford to do certain things and like how it was all going to work but thankfully um, we'll just uh, we've got a bit of extra time to play around I really rambled to you I'm sorry <laughs> So I'm now making meatballs and I thought I would tell you what I put in here. So I've got 500 grams of lean beef mint, so that's gone in. I've got an egg in there. I have, I would say like a handful of parmesan. I've got about half a cup of panko breadcrumbs just because they're nice and light, but you could use any breadcrumbs like grill a piece of toast and then grate that if you needed to. I've got a small handful of parsley, I've got about a teaspoon each of thyme and garlic powder, half a grated onion, um, I said an egg didn't I? A splash of milk as well and then plenty of salt and pepper and what I'm going to do now is mix all of this together by hand and then I'm going to pop a blob of mozzarella in the middle of each one once it's all combined but I'll show you how I'm doing that in a sec. Get your meat, and I want you to do this. There, you flatten it out. Songs from your favorite. And then musicals. I'm going to pick a piece of cheese. Like that. There you go. You can probably get a little bit more in. Maybe use that for it. Okay. Right now, what we're going to do is cover it up. It's like putting the cheese to bed. You can. You're gonna be. You're gonna be so great at it. Right. Let's put it in the middle. We'll fold this bit over first, and then that bit. I want to roll it. You want to roll it? Okay. Well, let's put it in a ball first. There we go. I want to roll it. Okay. Roll it now, like that. And then there's one more that you can do. Good girl. Well done. You're right, superstar, aren't you? It's all right. You're doing really well. Squeeze it together at the top. Look like putting the cheese to bed. There you go, and roll it into a ball. And then we're done. Good girl, I'm really proud of you. Good girl, maybe be a bit more gentle. Maybe don't throw them. Just gonna squish him back together. Honestly, whenever I'm cooking, the kids just seek me out. They could be doing anything in the other room and then they want to help. Oh, hi. Are you saying hi? Even though he's like tiny, he's like, oh, mum, what are you doing? What are you cooking? I think it's mainly because you're like me though and you like to eat. Hello. Should be playing the 